Hey everyone, I'm Lisa and I'm a PhD student at Carnegie Mellon University. I'll be presenting our paper titled Gated Path Planning Networks. My collaborators are Emilio Perisoto, Devendra Chaplat, and my advisors Eric Shing and Roslyn Salakutunov, who are also from CMU. Path planning is the problem of finding the shortest set of actions to reach a goal location from your starting state. Path planning is a fundamental part of any application that requires navigation. This includes autonomous vehicles, drones, factory robots, and household robots. There are many path planning algorithms, an example being a star search, which is a popular heuristic algorithm, but it is not differentiable. A recent work introduced a neural architecture for path planning called value iteration networks. Differentiability allows this method to be used as a path planner module within a larger neural architecture while maintaining end-to-end -end differentiability. VINs have become an important path planner component used in many recent works, and here are some examples. The wide usage of VINs demonstrates its effectiveness as a path planner. However, um, this, despite their effectiveness, VINs are difficult to optimize. To give an outline of this talk, first I will give a quick overview of VIN. Next, we reframe VIN as a recurrent convolutional network. From this perspective, we propose architectural improvements to VIN, which we call the gated path planning networks. Lastly, we show that GPPN performs better and alleviates many optimization issues of VIN. First, a quick overview of VIN. The input is the goal location and the map design, uh, which are both binary matrices and stacked as different channels. The input is passed through a convolutional layer to estimate a reward matrix. This reward is stacked with an initial state value matrix and passed through another convolutional layer to produce estimates of the action state value. The summation here simply denotes a convolution with kernel size 3 and W are the convolutional weights. Let's simplify notation and drop the indices i and j. This notation will denote convolution with kernel size 3. Finally, the Q values are passed through a max pooling layer over the feature channels to estimate the state value matrix V. In the next iteration, we use this new state value to compute equation one again. And we repeat this recurrent computation loop for some number of iterations. And finally, we output the last state value, which is a heat map over the maze design. Note that equations one and two resemble the classic value iteration algorithm. The VIN architecture was designed to mimic the application of value iteration on a 2D grid world. VIN has the advantage of being differentiable, whereas the classic algorithm is not. Next, let's combine these two equations into one line. This way, we can view the VIN as a recurrent convolutional network, but with an unconventional nonlinearity, which is max pooling a restriction of kernel sizes to three, and a hidden dimension of one. Non-gated RNNs like this are known to be difficult to optimize due to effects like vanishing and exploding gradients. We propose to replace the max pooling activation with a well-established gated recurrent operator such as the LSTM. We also allow kernel sizes greater than three, and we call this resulting architecture gated path planning networks. The gated LSTM update is well known to alleviate many of the optimization problems with standard recurrent networks. At the end of the day, it's an extremely simple idea replacing the max pooling nonlinearity with an LSTM nonlinearity, but the performance improvement is significant as I will show next. We tested the models on maze environments like this. 
using a variety of settings such as training data set size, maze size, and maze transition models. In the new transition model, the agent can move one cell north, east, west, south. In more, the agent can move to any of the eight neighboring cells. In differential drive, the agent can move forward along its current orientation or turn left or turn right. We also did experiments in the 3D VizDoom environment where the agent has to learn path planning from first person RGB images. In the interest of time, I will give a brief overview of the experimental results, but for full details, come check out our poster. We found that GPPN outperforms VIN in a variety of metrics. First is learning speed. Here's the learning curve. On the y-axis, we have percent optimal, which is the percentage of states whose predicted paths have optimal length. And on the x-axis, we have the number of training epochs. GPPN learns faster, and its learning curve also looks more stable. On the other hand, VIN performance oscillates between epochs. Here we plot the test performance for different maze transition models, news, more, and differential drive. GPPN performs better, especially for the news and more domains. Next is generalization. Here we vary the training data set size between 10,000, 25,000, and 100,000. GPPN generalizes better with less data, and as we decrease the data set size, the performance difference becomes greater. Next is hyperparameter sensitivity. We tested each model using 25 different hyperparameter settings. In this plot, the y-axis is the performance, and the x-axis are the hyperparameter setting indices ordered by performance. The curve for GPPN is flatter, meaning that it is more stable to hyperparameter changes. Lastly, we measure random seed sensitivity. We trained each model multiple times using different random seed initializations and recorded its performance. Here's the box plot showing the amount of variance in performance, and we can see that GPPN exhibits less variance and therefore is less sensitive to random seed initializations. To summarize, GPPN is a more general architecture that relaxes the architectural inductive bias of VIN. It performs better and alleviates many optimization issues of VIN. Our results suggest that planning, uh, path planning architectures need not strictly resemble pathfinding algorithms like value iteration. By looking at VIN as a recurrent convolutional network, we can explore other RNN architectural improvements including gated recurrent operators, which was the focus of our work, or other RNN improvements that were introduced recently. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'd like to thank my collaborators again, and thanks NVIDIA for providing GPU support. Our code is available on GitHub, so you can replicate our experiments, and come check out our poster later today. Yeah, thank you. All right, could the next speaker come up while we're taking questions? Okay, so, so and, and the second question that I have is that, did, did you compare, um, did you have baseline experiments that used just, um, just the LSTM without any of the, um, um, I mean, uh, did you have any baseline experiments with just uh, LSTMs? Um, so the original VIN paper compared uh, VIN with like baseline CNN, uh, arch uh, architect and RNN architectures, and they already showed that like VIN outperforms them significantly. So our baseline was the value iteration network. Okay. Yeah. yeah because I'm okay. I think we'll take the rest off once. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then thanks, speaker again. All right. And uh, last up, though I guess the next session starts directly after this one, uh, so it's not really a break. But last up in this session is, is Chow Tao, who's talking.